everyone, thank you for coming back to my channel. I'm Stephanie, if you're new here. Today we are going to be making a rotisserie chicken in my new air fryer. So I will be using the Power XL Pro Air. Uh, which one is it? It's the Pro XR. I just did the unboxing just recently. You can go check out that video and you can see I put everything in there as best as I could on how to use it. And then some of the things that come with it and some of the things that don't come with it. And we're still working on that. There's still some things that I need to purchase to be able to use with this air fryer. But one of the cool things with this air fryer, and I know that I did a video in the past with a whole chicken in the other kind, because I have my other one right over here. So this is the one that I did the whole chicken in, but this one I'm able to do the rotisserie part um, with it so I'm kind of excited about that so I wanted to try it out today um, this is my first time doing it in this air fryer because my air fryer is so new that um, I'm just gonna start sharing a lot with you now in the recipe book it does give you like a couple of ideas that you can do to get started with your chicken to get it um, like the recipe part, how to tie it up, and then what you can put on it. So I'm just gonna kind of follow a little bit of that. I'm not gonna like do everything that they have in here, um, just because I don't wanna use maybe some of these seasonings for our chicken. But it's pretty much basic in, uh, in how you make it. Any way that you wanna season it is gonna be fine with how you make it. It's more like how you tie it up and then how you use the, skewer to um, use with the chicken. So I don't have the other end on yet because I'll be putting this in there, but we are gonna be tying up the chicken and putting all the seasoning and stuff. And then I'll show you how to do this and then we will be setting it. Um, and it's really easy. This is not like complicated at all. So what you're gonna need as for the stuff to tie it up, I think you can get some kitchen string or I can't remember what the name of it is but you can get like a certain kind of um, product for when you're cooking things in the oven so what I'm using is just regular cotton yarn um, and any other time I'll probably just go out and get some for this reason but I didn't have any so all I have right now is just cotton yarn I kind of looked into like what's safe what's not safe so if you guys are gonna do it um, in the air fryer just make sure you are using like accurate string to tie up your chicken is just we're going to dry up the chicken a little bit with some paper towel we're going to add some seasoning to it and then i will show you how to use the skewer okay so you're going to want to take some paper towel and this dry up the chicken great so the seasoning that we're going to be using today is the hickory or honey hickory rub i'm just going to be using a little bit of this and for the recipe it says um garlic onion um, sea salt, black pepper, paprika, and the only thing that I'm not going to be using is the onion and the garlic. So you can add whatever you would like. Okay, so I'm just going to put a little bit of the honey hickory on. I'm going to go on both sides also. I'm going to put some paprika on. Just gonna use regular seasoning salt but if you want you can add you know other stuff that you would like to use I'm gonna tie up the legs and if you guys um, aren't familiar with tying up chicken you can go on like another YouTube channel and they show you different ways to go about doing that So I'm just gonna cut off the extra and then I'm going to tie around the center part. And do that. And then you are going to want to tie, let's see. We don't want anything in the way when it is turning in there, so we want everything tied up. We are gonna go ahead and use the skewer. So I have one side on already, and then 
And then it just comes with like a little um, twist on thing that holds this on there. So that's already on there nice and tight. So now what you need to do, and that just goes right in. Okay, so if you don't have that lined up really good, sometimes it's hard to get through um, this area. So once you get at that on there, you're gonna wanna push it in as far as you can, just so that the chicken doesn't fall off when it is cooking. Okay, so in your air fryer, you have a little area that the skewer goes in there and then it rests on there. Okay, so then on your air fryer, there's an option to press, come up close, button right there, and then it has a rotisserie chicken button. So I'm gonna press that, and then I'm going to add it, or uh, put the time up to 45 minutes, and then I'll check it in between. But it's able to rotate around in there. So I'm just gonna show you quick with it in there, if you guys can see. So it's gonna rotate around really slow. And it says for the recipe, it's like 45 minutes. So I ended up just flipping the chicken over and putting it in that way. And that seemed to work better. Um, now it's able to rotate the way it's supposed to. So I'm gonna let it cook for the 45 minutes and then we'll come back and check on it. It's done. So I'm gonna pull it out. And with this air fryer, it comes with this tool. Like I said before, if you saw my unboxing video, you would know that that's what this is used for. So you don't end up getting burnt when you uh, pull whatever you are cooking out. So all you have to do is set it right underneath. Just like that. And then it tells you to let the chicken sit for like five to 10 minutes. But I'm gonna go ahead and just take off everything and then I'm gonna cut it up and plate it up. Hopefully you guys liked today's video and that was easy enough for you guys to follow. If you have any questions on using the rotisserie setting or the tool, just leave me a comment down below and I can try to help you. Otherwise, don't forget to give me a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.